All right, so I'm going to level with you guys here. I will be testing out the past five money-making methods that I have done within the past few videos of mine, and I'm going to see if me making a video about those money-making methods has crashed the methods. And if it did, if it crashed at least three of the five methods that I have done, actually, screw it, I'll say two of the five methods that I have done, then I will not upload these money-making videos anymore. The first one that I'm gonna test out is the money-making method that I uploaded yesterday, the Karamja store. So there was two complaints that I commonly saw so the first complaint was that since I'm making this video it's going to crash the method because a lot more people are going to be doing it well the video uh, a video hasn't been made about it in a while yes but the method has been relatively known now some people are going to see that and think oh that's pretty cool I want to go do that but it's actually locked behind the Karam Jahar diary so it's a pretty decent requirement that gets uh, locked behind but let's just say people want to do it you know every single person wants to go do that well there's a lot of people there to begin with and as I said if you choose four or five worlds to yourself you don't really need to worry so I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did in that video and I'm gonna do it right Right now right now it is 5 26 p.m. so I'm actually doing this at a relatively you know local time I think it's a pretty good time a lot of uh, players are gonna be on right now so it's 5 26 uh, p.m. in the East Coast and that's you know where I live and everything so that's what I'm going to be doing right now so I'm going to actually buy the items which this is uh, brings me to my second complaint that I was hearing is that all of the items that I use are going to crash when again if people actually listen to what I said in the video uh, a lot of these items are actually attached to the high alk value or uh, relatively close to the high alk value so if the item was to be quote unquote ruined then you go to a different item this, this can be done with so many different items but I'm not going to explain that again so uh, I bought the rune plate legs I think for somewhere around 42k rune plate what the frick? Rune plate legs. There we go. I bought them for around 42k each, I want to say. And right now they are only about 41k. Actually, I just bought these beforehand. So uh, we'll do rune plate skirt. Even though that would work, we'll do rune plate skirt as well. So same exact thing. We'll put it up to 43k, which it's probably not even going to buy for that. And we'll buy about, uh, let's say, 40 of these. So I actually, in here, you can just see I bought the rune plate legs because I wanted to test that out before. So I bought the rune plate legs before for 40k each, and I just bought these for 41k each. So this uh, actually probably would have been more. No, okay, that would have been more uh, profitable with the rune plate legs, but it doesn't even matter. So I think you can only buy uh, 70 of each item at a time, maybe not, but I'll try to buy the rune full helm again just in case. So I'll put that up to that, and I'll put 40 in. And let's see if I can buy it. No, I, I can buy 10. So we're just going to only do it with 10. So I'm going to just fill my um, inventory with items and see if I can make more than 5 mil again. All right, there we go. So now that I have everything that I bought, I'm going to go bring that right down there. I can actually sell those five at a time. I am going to see if I can make more than 5 mil with all of this. And I'm going to see how busy these uh, worlds actually are. But first, I just need to find the uh, appropriate worlds that I can do this in. Because obviously there are people doing this. But as I said before... There's always going to be people doing this, so I need to find the appropriate worlds that I want to go through and do this. Which actually, see, even though there are people doing this right now, they're all doing it with different items. So, no one's actually doing it with this item, believe it or not, as I said in the video. But here, one, we'll sell that, we'll sell that, we'll sell this, and then there you go. See, they actually just buy uh, or sell five uh, at a time. So, sell my rune. Helm. All right, so I just want to be 100% crystal clear here. So I decided to re-record this audio. I mean, there was original audio recorded in this little bit, but uh, I want to be clear on this. So when I made this video, I knew that people have made videos about this in the past. I mean, I don't know who has made a video about it recently because I just haven't really seen it. And if I had, I wouldn't have made a video about this. But the video I saw about this, I saw about a year ago on Reddit. And I saw... Forbesburg, uh, otherwise known as Lynx Titan, was making about uh, 12 mil an hour or whatever it was from this because I'm pretty sure he was uncontested with this. And he's, uh, like, obviously he's uh, rank one overall, so he's very efficient at it. But, I mean, let's be real. I'm not going to be anywhere as near as efficient as him. So, when he made this video, absolutely no one was doing it. But after he made that... Uh, or after he made that video, then a lot of people found out about these shops. And ever since then, a lot of people know about these shops. I mean, I'm sure people even knew about these shops beforehand uh, whenever the actual rewards came out. The rewards, of course, being for the Achievement Diaries. So what I want to do here is show you guys how you can still do this method. 
because as of right now in this video I am having no problem actually selling my items now I did run into a few different worlds that were actually taken up as expected because when I was doing this video uh, when I was originally recording this first video um, the video I re released yesterday there were people selling to these shops as is and I want to say that today there was a lot less people selling to the shops and you guys saw I did this at a pretty prime time and there was no one you know, not nearly as many people selling to the shops as of right now than uh, they were yesterday. And I'm recording this on Saturday. I'm recording this on the video or on the same day that I released the video. So in theory, there should be more people doing it, but there's actually not more people doing it. This method has already been commonly botted for a long time too. A lot of uh, botters actually use this method to bring a lot of money into the game as well. And uh, you might think that, oh, well, this is bad. I didn't like the video because now you're just teaching more people to bring a lot more money into the game when I actually talked to uh, employees at Jagex. And I'm not going to say any names or anything. I don't know if it would get them in trouble. I sincerely doubt it. But this doesn't actually bring uh, as much money into the game as people think it brings into the game. One thing to actually keep in mind is that there are a lot of money sinks in the game as is. So even though a lot of money is being brought into the game, there's also a lot of money being taken out of the game. So if you're paying attention to what's happening in the background as of right now I'm just selling all of my items pretty much in random worlds uh, I actually did choose some worlds um, to sell them in when I wanted to be really quick about it. I chose worlds 13 through 21. Sometimes I hop to world 65 uh, if they were actually taken. But it took me about 15 minutes overall to sell all of my items to the shop because there really wasn't many people here. Again, even if there were people here, they aren't selling the same items as me. I mean, some people do have some similar items to me, but overall, everyone chooses different items to actually sell. You can do this with hundreds of items as I actually said in the video so even if there were other people selling to these uh, shops and uh, there were a lot of different people here I would still get the same amount of profit because the shop despawns every 30 seconds 45 seconds whatever it is and I just choose my own worlds and I'll be fine so in about 15 minutes I made 442 K profit I'm pretty sure uh, last video I made about 500 K profit in 20 minutes so so if I were to do it for an hour that's about 300 K extra an hour I made or 1.8 mil alright so the next money making method that I'm gonna be debunking is if I ruined or not is the Dorgish and Crossbows. The method being that you buy the Dorgish and Crossbows from the shop and then you sell them to the Grand Exchange. I think I sold those for around 3.6k each and you bought them from the shop for about 1k each. And you even bought the uh, Bone Bolts as well and I think that you bought those at 9gp each. I don't know, we're gonna see in the video. This was uploaded two months ago, but this video is going to be, you know, it's easily seen as something that can be crashed, like hardcore, so. I uh, bought them from the shop at 1k each and I was actually sen selling these in the video for, let's see, let's see how much I was selling these for. Let's uh, go at the lowest. Alright, so I sold those for a total of 442k and 800gp, so I'll put that in and I'm going to divide that by the amount I sold, 123, and that's going to be how much I sold them for each. So 3.6k, I sold those for 3.6k each and after this video people thought that uh, the Dorgish and Crossbows actually crashed. So now I'm going to go see how much I buy and sell them for in the GE right now. It's also worth noting that I sold these Bone Bolts for about 6 GP each. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and uh, that was in the video. If you don't, don't uh, believe me, you can go back and watch yourself. So the Dorgish and Crossbow, we're going to see how much I can buy that for. Dorgish and Crossbow, we'll buy one for... Okay, it's actually more uh, in this. So I'll buy this for 5k right now. All right. So, I can't even buy it for 5k. Dorgishin crossbow. Dorgishin 10k. Look, I'll show you my history. I didn't buy these out or anything. So there. I bought this for 5.8k. Now I'm going to go sell it. I'll try to sell it for... Here, I'll just sell it for that. See how much it sells for. So 3k at a very minimum price. So that is about 2.8k difference. So that means that you even selling this for... Yeah, you know, that's an instant sell price as well. So selling this for about 4k each. Watch, I'll buy one more and uh, see how long it actually takes to sell this. Dorgish and Crossbow. I'll buy this for 6k. There we go. And now I'll sell this for about 4k. 4k. Alright, so uh, this actually took about a minute to sell. And uh, I sold that for 4k. I'm, I guarantee I could sell that for more, but... I just sold that for 4k and I guarantee you can actually sell that for a lot more than 4k so here that was uh, all bought and sold just to show you that I didn't just buy it on this and I only have two accounts so 
This is me on my second account. Go to my uh, history. And look. I didn't buy anything. I mean, I haven't been on this account for a while since that one video. But uh, just to show you that I didn't just sell it or uh, buy it from that account. So this one, again, this money making method works. It actually works a lot better than uh, previously. So I'll go to the next one. So pretty much the rest of the money making methods are in this video, the making 5 mil from 0 GP in a day with low requirements and the thing about these two videos right here is it's just me making money. It's just me showing you guys how I'm making money. It's, I'm trying to show this just to show you that I am doing it to make money. I'm showing you different ways that I am doing it to make money. I'm not making it uh, just to be a guy. Now uh, the video I made before, which here, yeah, let's go back, a lot of these videos are unlisted by the way. You guys don't uh, really see those. So, if I go back, there it is. No, that's not it, just kidding. There it is, right here. The easiest money making I've ever done. That one was, like, uh, that was a guide. That was straight up just a guide. I'll admit that, that was a guide. But, again, I just showed you that it hasn't been crashed. So, we'll go to this video, and just to show you the money making methods that I did, I did uh, the salt petre, peter, whatever you want to call it. And I think I sold these for about 257 or something of the sort. So, here. Sell that again. It's 254. I sold those for about 240 each or whatever it might be. Let me just do the uh, math again. Okay, so again, number divided by that. I sold these for 240 each. Okay, so these were 240 each right here, which they are actually actively traded at 256. But the instant sell price is um, is what call it? It was uh, 240. So we'll just go with that. Now sapphire rings. We'll go with these. Which this isn't, uh, this one's not really fair because there was just an update release. So I'm, I think that these might be more because these are more in demand. I'm not necessarily sure. Uh, I know for a fact they sold those for around 2.9 uh, or something like that. So uh, we're gonna do the salt petre or whatever you want to call it. Then the uh, rings of recoil. See how much those sell for. And then we're gonna do the uh, karambuam, which I sold the karambuam for. Let's see how much. 4013922 divided by. I sold 4,026 of them. So I sold these for 997 each. That's another money making method. And then for this, I uh, I just bought a bunch of chaos runes and I think I only made about 100k profit. But the thing about this method is that is absolutely just stuck to the shop. So it would be how much you buy the, or rather sell the actual onyx for, the uncut onyx. So here, we'll go to this and see how much I sold this for. Okay, I sold that for 2,981. So. For the sake of this, I will buy an uncut onyx and see how much I buy it for. I'm going to lose some money by selling it back, but that's not a big deal. Uh, I'll see how much the salt petre is worth, and I'll, however you pronounce it, and then I'll see how much of the rings of uh, recoil are worth. Okay, so the uncut onyx. We're going to go see how much that one's worth. It's actually risen in price, and I bought that for 3 mil. So, again, it rose in price. I just lost money on it, but, you know. Not much, not a big deal. And then the salt petre, salt peter, that actually rose in price. Let's see how much that is. Buy it for that. So that's 364. How would you know? So me making a video about this made that rise in price. Okay, so salt petre, and then the last one is rings of recoil. Ring of recoil. So that actually crashed in price, but again, that is going to probably be because of the new update with the ring of, um, whatchamacallit, let me go see. It was the ring of, uh, the ring of suffering, because that's a permanent recoil, so a lot of people were doing that to make money, even a friend uh, was doing that to make money, so a lot of people dumped that into the market, they dumped rings of recoil into the market. But let's just say for the sake of the video, it didn't do that and they didn't just have a huge update on that so we're just gonna pretend like that update didn't actually exist and it just crashed so only one method in theory out of the five methods that I did which weren't even money-making methods are quote-unquote ruined so all I'm gonna say is you guys definitely overreact to a lot of things when you don't even test it for yourself a lot of people just like to complain and bitch and moan or whatever but no one actually goes and tests it when I make these videos I make sure that they aren't just going to crash immediately just so you guys don't you know get any sort of benefit out of these videos I normally make oh I forgot the raw Quran bomb it's my mistake one sec that's actually six um, money-making methods I believe so here raw Quran bomb I forgot that. Okay, that's actually risen in price too. There you go. Raw Karam Bomb, I bought it for 1k. After making that video, the price rised again. Because there's a lot more brought into the market. 
and there's a lot more demand for it. So it rises. I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but it doesn't really matter. But I guarantee a lot of you weren't doing that to begin with. You weren't doing this money-making method to begin with. All of these money-making methods have been around for a very long time. They're not going to crash. I mean, the only one that I have ever made a video on that I know for a fact crashed was Rune Javelins, and that was just a poor investment because there's a shop. And I admit that. I admit that I mess up on uh, videos every now and then. I know that my videos aren't perfect or that I'm uh, not always going to be the best when it comes to money making. But I'm doing this for the benefit of you guys. I'm making these videos because I want to share something that I learned. I like to share uh, the methods that I learned. So if you guys are just going to immediately dislike them, then I mean... It doesn't really matter at that point. I don't really care. So I do know that there is a dislike bot in my videos. I know a lot of these likes or these uh, dislikes aren't actually real. And then when people do see these dislikes, they normally just hop on the bandwagon of hate. I've seen it with a lot of other YouTubers. I've seen it with, you know, my videos, uh, you know, themselves. So, I mean, I don't really think they're real. I don't think they're real dislikes. If you guys actually don't like my videos, then you can unsubscribe, and that's fine. I know that not everyone's going to like my videos. I know that not everyone is going to find all of my videos that I make interesting, and they might think they're just bad videos, but I do put a lot of effort into my videos. The money-making method video that I put in, or uh, that I did yesterday, that took me about four hours because I had to unlock the achievement diaries. And if it didn't take me four hours um, for that, it took me, I want to say, 45 minutes just to record the actual part. Now, now, it, it was just 20 minutes um, when it actually came down to uh, how long it took me to sell the items to the shop. But it took me about 45 minutes to figure everything out and just uh, splay that all out. And then uh, commentating the video, it took me about, I want to say maybe an hour because I always mess up and I always just have to go back uh, over and do things. And then editing the actual video took me about 25 to 30 minutes or whatever it was. So for people to think that they're low effort and I don't actually put time into them, you're just completely wrong. If you don't like my videos, that's fine. If you want to dislike my videos, that's fine. I don't really care. But all I'm going to say is don't immediately jump on the bandwagon of hate just because you see other people disliking and you uh, think immediately that this YouTuber just ruined this method. Because a lot of different YouTubers, like even a friend, people can, uh, or accuse him of trying to make money off of his viewers when he makes these money making methods or uh, that they are ruined or whatever it might be when that's not the case people just like to make videos about money making methods so if I were to make a video about Barrows you guys are gonna go oh the money making methods crashed but it's not it's not a crashable money making method I mean some of these money making methods that I do of course they uh, are prone to crashing but uh, I always try to make sure that they probably won't crash even if a lot of people do them so all you gotta do is just take five seconds and look for yourself at the actual prices. And if it's crashed, oh, then you can go blame me. That's fine. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you probably in two days with another video. And uh, it's gonna be a money-making one again, guys. <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not gonna be a money-making method. I'm probably gonna stay away from these uh, for a little bit. But I still like making them, so I'm still gonna do them. Just as long as they don't crash. Alright, bye.